Okay. <sighs> Fellas, let's talk about consent real quick. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Ehia Zolkin and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell notification. That way you stay informed on any video I upload. Let's talk about some consent. Before I talk about content, I want to give some backstory on why I wanted to make this video. So the inspiration that came to me for this video came about earlier this month when my province of Ontario, the government passed a law. It basically states that any man who's in self-induced intoxication has a defense against any forms of sexual assault towards a woman or any other person. The Ontario government, they're kind of slick. They thought they can get away with this without anybody noticing because of all the racial tension and the crisis going on in the States and even up here in Canada. They thought it can just slide this law past everybody's noses and it can go unnoticed. And unnoticed, it did not go. Oh man, you guys, man, our government bricked. I'm not gonna lie to you. They done goofed this time. Already, right now, we are going through a lot of changes in this world, both good and bad. The last thing a woman needs in Ontario or anywhere in the world is for a law to get past that. Oh, because if a man were to get intoxicated, it excuses them of all crimes of sexual assault or even rape. Like, does anyone not think how boneheaded of a decision that was? I mean, think about it. Look, you already have women scared walking around at night alone because they never know what's gonna happen to them. And now, you just passed a law saying that if any man is drunk or drugged up off something, they have all, basically all rights to sexual assault a woman and they can use that as a defense because they're intoxicated. Like, I, I really wanna meet the people who passes all these bills and laws and ask them, yo, how stupid could you be? Like, honestly, that was the most boneheaded idiotic lot of paths, especially through this key politically sensitive time we're in right now. Like the idiocy, you guys are gonna be making me use big words to insult you right now. So I just wanna make this quick video talking about consent because for my fellas, I'm talking to you right now. This, don't let this law in Ontario fool you. This isn't your get out, get out of jail free card. This isn't you can do whatever you want to a woman card. Consent still matters in 2020. It mattered 50 years ago. It'll matter 50 years from now. It'll matter forever. Don't think because all these patriarchal and misogynistic laws are being passed, you have a right to sexually abuse women anytime you please. No, 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 no. And if you're so confused, like, oh, what do you mean by consent, this and that? I'm gonna use the quick Google definition to describe it to you. So that means we're abundantly clear on what I'm talking about right now. I don't wanna see any guys hitting me up saying they were confused about consent because I'm literally about to read it to you right now. Consent is the permission for something to happen or agreement to do something. That means if a woman doesn't want to do something with you, you can't force them to. Let's, let's break it down a little bit more. Let's say you're at a bar, or at a club, a pub, or just maybe at a restaurant, whatever. You see a woman you find attractive, okay? You don't put your arms around them. They didn't ask for that. They didn't agree to that. They didn't consent to that, so don't do it. Don't grab a woman's hand, unwarranted. Don't pull a woman towards you, unwarranted. Don't be following women home, unwarranted. It's so simple, but at this point, you have to spell it out for people because if you don't, they're gonna start coming up with all sorts of excuses and you have a lot of little rapists who are getting pleaded guilty and doing minimal time. Then again, you see, I'm going back to Black Lives Matter right now, black men and women getting years and years in prison for minor cases. Well, you have little rapists walking around the streets today. And a lot of people are like, oh, sometimes you can't trust women, they might be coming out with different stories, which is true, but you don't use that as an excuse to deny a woman of their story. If you know the woman's not saying the truth, then you come with facts and evidence to dispute it. But if a woman is coming out, making herself vulnerable and talking about her story with sexual assault or rape, listen to them, hear them out. Because at the end of the day, you don't know them. You don't know what they've been through. So to you to refute that, call them a liar and call them this ch clout chasing, what does that make you look like? Look, when I talk about consent, it's very simple. I said it before, I'm gonna say it now. No means no. If they tell you no, it's a no. It's not a yes later. It's not a, oh, let me try and force a yes out of her. Let me not try to convince her of a yes afterwards. If she says no, she's not a no. Even if she does say yes at one point, but when you actually get to doing what you gotta do with each other, and she said no, that means no. It's straight up. Like, I'm gonna link the T video. I know we all watched that T video at one point in our lives talking about consent. I'm gonna link that in the description down below because I don't know how else to spell it out for you, mandem. No means no. 
call me a simp, call me whatever for respecting a woman's rights and values. Okay, that's fine by me. But all I'm gonna say is that, look, no means no. If you wanna do anything, even so, shake a woman's hand, ask for the consent. I'm telling you, you're gonna do yourself and the woman justice in the long term. And I assure you, those are the things we can do. And we can fight stupid ass laws that the Ontario government and other governments be passing, right, trying to be sneaky right out of our noses. So yeah, that's consent, real quick and easy. I hope y'all took something away from this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had to make this video real quick because with everything going on in the world, I never got to actually wanna talk about it, but better late than never i guess let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section down below and we can talk about why consent should have already been a normalized thing but we should continue to normalize consent if you enjoyed this make sure you tap that like button it really helps and supports me and the channel and if you like the content that i be making make sure you subscribe and tap the bell notification that way you stay informed of any video i upload if you have a question you want me to answer leave the question in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on my insta it's also linked down below that's all i got for y'all today remember to continue to stay safe and as always easy